Hello everyone, welcome back to Banished with our water world in Dugsville. We are ranking up and, and killing noobs. And, no, the wrong game. Wrong game, ladies and gentlemen. Stop getting so excited about that. We are uh, building up our industry, thinking through our industry. We're going to do pottery. That's going to start us off, get us in a good spot. And then I'm going to try to figure out how to do the oil press stuff for um, for olives. So that would be pretty cool. We don't need sand right away. We actually need clay. We're going to need clay the whole time uh, because of pottery. So let's get one person already working on that. I did just realize, okay, furnace fuel still looking good. We're going to have to watch that. Since I'm looking at that manually right now, um, that's a bit of an issue. I think once we get industry going, um, buying logs is, is not going to be a huge deal. Like, we'll just be able to do that. It won't be too bad. And then the logs we can then use to probably make charcoal. That's when I would feel more comfortable making charcoal or maybe making, like, statues or something like that. We could we could work on um, stone and then make stone statues and sell those. Those are worth quite a bit. But right now I'm treating this as a very finite source of material. So just FYI. One thing I could do to extend our food as well, I've, I've already thought through this, so I'm not going to think about that for a minute, is canning, doing the tinning. Um, oh, wait, I need building supplies for that. I was going to say, I don't think we need a lot of outside influence because we can build mines that get tin, and then we can do a foundry that also smelts tin. So that's something that we can look at. But I do need building supply, and I always kind of forget how hard that is. I do need lumber right away. Okay, so lumber lumber is a, is, is a bit of an issue. We do need to get that up and going. Again, the fuel... Look at how... Look at how many reeds we're just cranking through. We have 2,000! What? Okay, here's... Oh, jeez. Um, why don't we do survival coats, too? Oh, gosh. I'm jump. I'm literally bouncing all over the place right now. Let's turn this back on and get somebody doing furnace fuel. We'll leave that at 1,000 now. I'll, I'll quit losing my dang mind about that for a minute. Um, health has gone up. Happiness has not budged. Which is probably good. Um, pottery, we need to get that rocking and rolling. But building supply is going to require... Building supplier is going to require a little bit more work. I think I'm going to turn the camera here. and So there's going to be buildings that I can only do on land. And I think the way I'm going to cheat that is by raising the land on the on the water a little bit from time to time. So I think what I'm gonna do is let's let's just put this here, the building supplier. I'm gonna have to like pause it at some point because we're not gonna have everything that we need. And we need to just think about that. So waterless sawmill and then the actual sawmill on a water water wheel <laughs> sawmill. Not waterless at all. Actually quite the opposite. I think Staying in uh, in theme here for Dugsville, we're going to go ahead and make the water wheel saw sawmill. So let's get that going because we need lumber. We're going to need lumber anyway. We can do town abode homes. It's going to be a lot better. Um, how many feathers do we have? We could start using those too. Oh my gosh, we have so many feathers. You know what? I might just save the leather for something else entirely and just do survival coats. I don't know if they're as good. I kind of doubt that they're as good as... Uh, leather coats are but that'll actually get us up to the amount of stored clothes that we can use maybe that's something we could sell on the side it's probably only going to be worth like eight or ten but that would be better than nothing so let's let's do this and see what happens we're gonna let those build up all of trees are in they take a few seasons to actually build up i was really hoping that we would have something else other than olives but that's okay in the meantime let's look and see there's a press somewhere there's a way to to press oils I don't think it's in the luxury resources. Pub kitchen. Interesting. I'm thinking about ways to use the, the fish to extend, to make more food, like canning them or something. So that's why I'm kind of looking at these other areas as well. So if we go to food, process, ah, here it is. We do need lumber, an oil press. An oil press extracts oils from olives and harvests sunflower flax, cotton seeds, and whale blubber. Lamp oil is best pressed from whale oil, but can be made from other organics at a cost. So it's just not as efficient. All right, fair enough. So let's get the oil press going. We'll just put it here for now. It does require lumber, which we do not have up and running yet. I think I'm going to need to build a couple more homes. 
So I should probably do that. You know what? Let's look. You can check efficiencies on these two. Th that's good. That's not. Okay. So we need a few homes just dotted around out here. Yeah, definitely we need a few homes out here. I've been uh, I've been too infatuated with living on the water and not so much with actually building the homes where they make sense. So I'm going to do stone. I know it's going to be a pretty big investment to get those down, but I am I think we really need it. Yeah, I really think we do. Okay, we're going to make lumber from logs. There we go. Let's get somebody on that right now. We do have a few more things being built up right now. This is waiting lumber. This is the press. Um, this is also awaiting lumber for the building supplier. The stone house is not. We are going to tap into our stone supply quite a bit. In fact, I'm just going to go and put a second person there. I do need to start making candles as well. How are we doing on beeswax? Eh, we've only got one. Not the biggest Not the biggest deal. I think with the additional homes, we're going to have some people actually, uh, laborers opening up too. Yeah, reserve of stone is very low. We might have some raw resources to gather from. Yeah, we do have a little bit down here. Let's go ahead and grab these. Oh my gosh. The click and drag, because I'm at a different camera angle, is freaking me out. Wow, that was weird. This area makes me happy. We've only got three people working both of these, so they're doing about 1,500. So still cranking out quite a bit of food. Health is still at that extra half heart. So not terrible. Happiness has gone up by a half star. Hmm. We are maxed out for the water shrine here. So maybe I'll make another shrine somewhere else just to keep that going. The one thing that kind of stinks is um, that's one one person employed for only 60 members. When I could have a courthouse that does like 380 or a church that does 200. So that's something to consider when you're thinking through actually placing those down. So the two homes did get finished and uh, people are of age, so that's good. We're not actually missing out on any of those opportunities to have families. There we go. Can I not make that go across here? Did I put those just smack in the middle? No, I was clicking on the wrong start point. I was like clicking right in here, which is right up on the building supplier. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. How are we doing on iron ore? Yeah, we still have a decent amount. We're going to be collecting some more raw resources as well. Now, we, we are cranking out some lumber. Uh, logs are not doing too terribly bad. I might want to consider making another uh, forester over here, like building some houses, making a forester. You know, I don't have a marketplace here either. <laughs> you know all the things that I want to have immediately? I don't have those things. So let's look at overall food produced as well because we're still out producing, but we are starting to catch up a little bit to that gap. Let's go into marketplace, edibles market, food only. How big is the circle on that? Oh my god. Goodness! That's huge! Rural market's just ginormous. Wow. That's so freaking big. I think I want to build that just because that's crazy. I could supply this whole area over here. Oh my goodness. I wouldn't even need this little dock market. My goodness, that's nuts. Isn't that just wild? Um, that, okay. Isn't that just wild? <laughs> uh, we could just do a small market, which is a smaller radius that supplies everything. Maybe that would be better for this situation. Maybe. <laughs> Although I just lost my crap on the uh, other one. That would cover every house that we have right now. It's probably going to be more feasible. Um, let's see, 40 stone. That takes 55, but it also takes lumber. This takes... I don't know, this this is less resources up front. Let's do that. Let's, let's not shoot for the stars too far. Because we're going to have fall on our faces a little bit. We do need to start making candles if we're going to be cranking away at this stone mine. As long as we have been. Somebody died of old age already? My goodness. Live longer. Alright, there's our building supplies. Now, I don't know, I'm probably going to have to do brick. Brick and lumber, or something along those lines. 
considering what we actually have going right now. So uh, I'm not going to worry about the building supplier right now. Stone is very low. We're building this guy right here. Let's get one person employed there. Very nice. We've got lumber coming into the oil press. This isn't even ready yet. I don't think it's produced anything yet. That's fine. And we need to start looking at pottery. Now, I believe we have a decent amount of clay right now. Let's go to inventory. Where's clay? Okay, that's that's actually not a whole heck of a lot. But that's all right. We, we're not doubled up on this, and it's fine. Um, oh, wow. Look at our overall fuel. 300. We're in the middle of the winter. But also the the uh, refineries crank it away too. Got quite a bit of furnace fuel now back again. Iron ore's gone down a bit. Iron has gone up, gone up a bit more. Um, we are not keeping up pottery. I know I'm, I've literally jumped like five different tasks right now. We're not uh, producing as much for tools. So that is a problem. So let's just address that right now. So I don't forget. Let's just put the blacksmith in right over there. Oh, look at that oil press. It's going to be from olives. It's going to be veggie oil. Oh, wait. I want to make... Oh, I have to make vegetable oil and then process it into lamp oil. Interesting. Okay. Fair enough. Hey, this is the year it's going to start yielding. Let's see how productive this is going to be. All right. Now we need to talk about pottery, and we need to talk about uh, producing even more clay. So let's get two more guys working this. And let's go into pottery. There we go. It's going to take lumber. That's fine. We can we can deal with that. There we go. There's a potter. Hey, read potter. Let's just do one for now. I don't know how well we're going to be able to keep up with that. Does this look like, an, like a monastery of some kind? Like the construction is just kind of cool. In my opinion. And maybe we should have two people work this. So we don't miss out on any uh, production. Blacksmith's coming up. Like I said, we're actually very behind. We are super low on stone. Yeah, we need to get some kind of industry going so we can buy all those supplies. All right. Blacksmith, iron tools. Let's get another person working that right now. And we'll even this out. Well, we'll do three laborers and two builders for now. Okay, cool. So stool, uh, stools. Uh, they're building stools over here. Don't you worry. It's not a furniture shop. All right. So tools, we're going to be building those up. That's nice. Let's put some roads around here so they're good and efficient. Oh, we can do a road in the middle of that? That's what I'm talking about. Options are delicious. Alright, and we'll build a road behind the blacksmith. Around there. This is still looking very nice. I probably do need more homes. What is our ratio looking like here? How, how are we looking? 64 citizens, 38 families, and 18 homes is... So uh, we could use a few more homes, I think. But, again, I do remember a lot of people out here were working way in town. Yeah. Yeah, that's not the best idea, I think. But probably they just need more jobs um, to go to. I'm, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. We, we need more stone, that's for sure. We're going to need another candler as well. Um, let's put... Let's put a second person on the apiary here, because we're not pulling in a ton of beeswax and honey every year, so that's a bit of a concern. The herbs are being used up immediately, if you've noticed. So, th this doesn't give us a whole heck of a lot. Yeah, I'm just not, I'm not in love with, like, how much that's putting out, but it's better than nothing, because before we weren't actually doing anything. So, I don't know, I'm, I'm a little worried about that. So, furnace fuel and clay. Let's go ahead and get some pottery starting to build up right now. Look at that. Furnace fuel, lumber, a bit of sand. Okay, cool. I do need more people. But you know what? We Oh, we can do the uh, the town abodes now. Oh, it costs 20 stone. Which is better than 40. It was going to cost 40 before. So, um... I can only build one. Let's just build one. See how quickly that's filled in. Is it, I don't know. This 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 run through has been very interesting for me. Um, having to use, forcing myself to use other means to like do stuff. It, it's just kind of, I don't know. It's odd. It's just odd, I guess. I'll probably do the same thing I did before. Do an industrial supplier, and then a farming supplier, 
and we can look at getting some other, you know, other things going on here. The industrial supplier is probably going to be the most important, though, for lumber, stone, iron. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Now, with two people working this, they did get the full yield before winter, and it got about a thousand in, which is good. Let's put one person. Oh man, people just dying. Yeah, they are. Let's start pressing this into vegetable oil. Did we finish the job that we were building over here? I think we did. Yep. Okay, so the town of Boat has a 30-year-old. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. Let's let's build another house. I've got 20 stone. Basically, I'm on the tails of these workers right here, cranking out the stone as quickly as possible. So they're going to start putting in olives and uh, start working the press there. Getting two people here would make that way more efficient, but I don't have the people right now. How are we doing on tool production? Uh, we jumped back up. We were getting down into the teens there for a minute. It's a good production. We used 76. We produced 63. I don't think that's 100% accurate. I think we were pulling down a lot more. And because we just started the production, it's not quite showing how much we really are putting out. But I, I don't know. Maybe I'm a little off on that. We don't have a lot of extra laborers to be moving things around. So that could be really accurate. Reserve of iron is low. Maybe we're gated by iron a little bit. I don't I don't know at this point. Iron ore is going down. Furnace fuel is not. That's nice. Uh, Clay is being used up. We've got five pottery so far. Pottery is very good. It's worth like 25 a piece. So that's going to be a really good investment. I'm getting into that industry. All right, let's get this other home up here real quick. I'll just kind of see where we land. Yeah, 30, 24. We're getting behind the curve for uh, housing right now, which is not a good place to be. Let's build a, a bridge over here. I'll make my standard joke. This water looks slightly troubled. If anybody understands that reference, you're, you're good to me. All right. Well, thanks, everybody, for joining. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. Food. Holy crap. Yeah, that food production changed real quick. Wow. Wow. Food production. Yeah, that's good. All right, guys. I'm, I'm going to leave it here. I'm just going to leave it right here. My head's kind of wrapped around all this right now, but I'm going to leave it here. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.